Well, hello, ladies. Just kidding. Um, well, actually, not just kidding, but who am I kidding? Hello, guys. Uh, and potentially one or two ladies, because I know that's how that works. And welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. With me, Timmy PTG. I'm gonna heal up off screen, as in on screen, because I just, I, I don't care. Um, this is the second time I've had to record this today, because, um,. I recorded about 13 minutes, and then the video, or and then I accidentally hit stop instead of resume, and so that's how that worked. So now I'm doing this again, but this time I'm learning from my mistake in the sense that one, I'm gonna actually stock up on Pokeballs this time. Where the hell's the Pokemon market? Here it is. Um, cause I got into this cave that I'd just been in for the first time ever. Uh, is that it? Can I get? Dusk balls or something? Like, from you? Uh, netball? No. Alright. Um, so yeah, I guess we're gonna do this with Pokeballs. Super fantasticness. I'd say 20. Just to be safe. Um, and he gave me one Premier Ball. Because I forget that every 10 Premier Ball, and every 10 Pokeballs you get, uh, you get a Premier Ball. So if you do two sets of ten, you get tw two premier balls. On top of that, I just did one set of and two one set of twenty, so I got one premier ball. Anyways, um, so let's cut down this tree and be on our merry way because that's super fantastic. Oh, it's dark now. Um, because it's six p.m. Also, I don't want to fight you. The way this area is going down is that um, it wouldn't let me hit. The A button. Is that Pinkie Pop is going in front because there are things that are fast and weak to water here. Um, and so it's easier for me to just kill them than to fight them uh, with what's her nuts? Silly Thong. What's his nuts? What's her nuts? And it's dead. So, um, let's just continue on this route. Oh, over here are some berries. I would like these berries. Not the berries over there, they're stupid. I don't care what they are. I don't even know what they are. But they're stupid anyways, because I don't own them. And I don't plan on owning them. So we got some Ross berries. I don't know what these do either. I don't know what anything does ever. That's how that works. And I'm going to get off my bike, because it is bikey-tastic. Hoping this is a... not a pony top. Whatever. I got a bajillion EXP. And Pancake Pop grew to level 22. That's how that works. Um, so this is a super repel. Holy crap, I'm psychic. As in, I already recorded this today. Uh, and this guy has like two onyxes, and he's like, hey, you snuck up on me, that's scary. Whoa, you startled me, well, we may as well battle. It's might as well battle, you hillbilly bastard. Um, so Theodore sends out his first onyx, and I'm like, ah, oh, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna use bubble beam, because I'm awesome like that. And I don't remember why I remember this fight, or I don't know why I remember this fight, rather. But Bubble Beam decimates his entire team because it's stupid. Why do you have two Onyxes? When is that ever going to be a viable team? Ever. Name me a single time a two Onyxes is going to prosper. Never. That's why. When. Mar. Onyx, keep battling because it's stupid. Mar, 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 mar. So, Bubble Beam. I got screeched at. I don't care. Also, if you're wondering what my background is, this is my background. It's a guy getting shot in the head and roses flying out. It's amazing. Um, there. So, yeah. That's how that works. Bubble Beam destroys your face too, because you don't own a face. You own a series of rocks. And critical hit, so eight times weakness to water. That must have sucked to be the thing. Your power startles me. Everything startles you. Go live in a shelter of... That didn't sound very well. I think I just offended some homeless people. Um, although I don't understand why homeless people would be watching my program. Um, can't escape. <laughs> Screw you, Ponyta. <sighs> you know what? I'm just going to kill you on screen because I don't care. You die. And then it burned me. Because that's a douche. Hate you, Pony Da. I hate you. <sighs> Luckily, there's a burn heel like right over there. 
You can't see my mouse. There it is. It's mouse casting. It's like a mouse made out of mouses. And level 23. Do we get a move? Nope. That API. Um, let me go this way. Because. Is that the burn heal? No, this is the poison barb. I'm gonna get it anyways. Poison barb! It's spectacular. Fah! Of like, maybe I can walk back and not get eaten by my chops. I didn't even know my chops were in this roof. Although, wait, yeah, it did. Um, because they're down there. They're just at a lower level. Um, anyways, let's go. Oh! Where the hell's the burn heal? Alright, fine. You know what? Oh! I wanted to talk about this thing. This is the thing I've been trying to find. This is a Gligar. Gligar. It is stupid. Um, <laughs> it's actually a pretty decent Pokemon in this generation, and it gets really good in the fifth generation, because its Dream World ability, or one of its abilities, I don't know if it's Dream World or not, but one of its abilities in the fifth generation, how did you not die? Screw you, Gligar. Screw you! Um, in fifth generation, it gets Poison Heal, and so with Poison Heal, if you get a Toxic Orb, it will um, poison itself, and then it'll heal up every turn. You're still not dead? God. Um, so it'll heal itself, and then you can use Fling to throw your poison or your Toxic Orb at somebody. You kidding me, bro? Die! <laughs> Ah, this is what I get for explaining things. Um, I swear, if this doesn't kill it, I'm going to be pissed. There we go. So yeah, you fling your Toxic Orb at something, now that thing is poisoned, and then you can just acrobatics the hell out of it for an, uh, a higher attack version of acrobatics. And the cave is here. Yes. Alright, um... So in this cave, I'm going to be going down here. I'm also going to get um, Val in the lead. And I'm also going to use my Super Repel. You might be going, hey, why are you using your Super Repel? And I'll be like, I don't care. What? <sighs> That's why. And I need to speed up. So, hiya, hiya, hiya. Oh, I missed it. Hiya, 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 hiya. Missed it again. Um, Max Ether. That's good to have. What you do for here, though, is you go like that, and then you go like that, and then you speed up again, and then you jump. Whee! Whee! And then you're over here, and then you go around, and you speed up still. What? Repels effects wore off. Screw you, with that. Ah! This better be a gibble. You're not a gibble. I hate you to the max. So, I told it to go cry in the fire, and it did. Uh, so, let's... What the hell? Mah! This jump is impossible. And that's a gibble. Hello, gibble. I'm gonna catch you. I hope you don't mind. Um, you are going to be my fifth team member, I suppose. And this should not kill you even if it crits. There. You used Sandstorm. That's bad for me. But I don't care! Because I'm crazy like that. Also, I have confirmed in the last video that Val... Uh, not Val. Um, that... Silly Pants's hype... Hyper... Hidden Power is, in fact, ground type. So, yeah. That's how that's gonna work. And I have to deal with Sandstorm every turn while I'm trying to catch this thing. Unless I catch it in one turn. One. Two. You bastard! Um. But, yeah. And Dragon Rage, that does 40 damage every single time. Does not matter what my HP is, what its attack is, what its special attack is, it will do 40 attack and 40 damage every single time it's used. Um. So that kind of sucks for me. Alright, one, a two, a three, a three, a three, you son of a bastard. Um, what was I talking about, other than swearing to the Maximus? 
Um, I, I am I am apologizing for this. I apologize for swearing for this much. But um, I guess I'll just throw in Pangy Pop because we're gonna die anyways. Ah, uh, new subject. In my last video, I said I was giving away Zorua's and uh, and Snivy's. In this video, I'm going to extend that to um, I am giving away Snivy's, Zorua's, Murkrows, because I've got a bajillion now. Like no joke, I've got an entire box filled with Murkrows. It is kind of sad, because uh, <laughs> I was trying to breed a. Uh, I was reading a jolly one, and I finally did. It took 16 tries, because I got all the way to R um, in the alphabet, because I named them A through R. And, uh, so yeah, Snivy, Zorla, Murkrow, and Axu. 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 I must Axu if you want an Axu. Um, because some guy gave me one for my Swoobat, and I was like, okay. So I gave him a Swoobat, and he gave me an Axu. So I've got this Axu that I have nothing to do with, but I can breed a bunch of them. So if you want one, it's a free dragon type. Uh, I think it's only Mono Dragon. Not really sure. But, yeah, it, it evolves into Haxorus, so it's a Haxor. Come on, get caught, man. There we go. Silly Fong just made it laugh so hard, it was like, I won't resist your capturing me. So here we've got Gibble. I'm going to name it Douche. Now I'm going to name it Hammerhead, the Landshark Pokemon. Um, you will be named Thor, because that's a hammer. Or Thor's hammer, rather. Thor. Yeah. Whoops, I'm stupid. Although, when was that ever in question? Thor was stored in there. So, oh, speaking of Thor, a new movie is coming out. I cannot make this jump. Ah! I'm using a repel. I don't care. That's how that's going to work. Um, because I have to make this jump. What? Stupid repel! Why does you make thing peer stuff? Ah. Well, that was the most epic fail in this video so far. I'm going to switch to Val. Or no, Val's dead. I'm going to switch to Cleopatra because I doubt anything is higher than level 22 in here. Come on. Ah, stupid thing. Impossible jump is impossible. How did I do this the first time? And... Great. Alright. I believe that I'm going to be destroyed. Okay. Oh, here's something we haven't seen yet. This is a Bronzor. It is stupid. Um, although, what isn't? It is the poor man's and also the strateg strate strategic man's um, Metagross, because it is the same typing as Metagross, so it is uh, Steel and Psychic and paralyzed also. You are paralyzed, sir. What are you going to do about it? Um, basically, it counters its weaknesses pretty well. Its uh, its abilities are levitate, which completely makes uh, ground-type moves completely useless, or it has fireproof or heatproof or something, which makes uh, fire attacks work as if they were neutral. And um, I'm going to off-screen to getting over this lead. Oh, hey, look, another good one. Also, I made it over, um, so I'm not even going to bother with this thing. Stop and... Intimidate. Um, so Bronzong, or Bronzor and Bronzong are pretty decent Pokemon. But what is this? What are you? What? Zubat, I'm going to kill you on screen, because I want to continue talking about Bronzong. Um, so yeah, it deals with its weakness as well, and its only two weaknesses are ground and fire. And so, um, but it's neutral to a lot of things, so I would just assume that it would be in your best interest to pick up, um, or, like, use a bug type, or, uh, a bug type, or, what's it called, um, 
or or dark type or electric type or something, just anything really, because um, they're not really that defensive. I mean, they're really defensive, but just not that in defensive where it's impossible to destroy them. Um, so yeah, if you don't want to risk them having levitate, just go for a neutral attack. That's my opinion. And um, or you could just always go for a fire attack and hope that it burns, or that they don't have heat. Proof. Anyways, this is Timmy PTG. This video is now 15 minutes long, so I've met my quota. This is Timmy PTG. Subscribe, rate, comment if you want a Pokemon. One of the four that I mentioned earlier, which are Murkrow, Snivy, Axu, and Zoroa. Just drop me a comment, leave me a message, whatever you want. Be like, hey, I want one. Here's my friend code. I'll be like, okay. You don't have to give me anything special, but uh, if you want to, that's fine too. I don't really care. But uh, yeah, this is Timmy PTG. Subscribe, rate, comment. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.